Micro videos are an increasingly popular way to demonstrate short processes or explain simple concepts. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through the basics of planning, creating, and producing your own micro video using screen recordings. Let's get started. Start by identifying what it is that you want to teach. If it involves process, what is the happy path or the easiest path to success? What does your audience need to know to be on the happy path? Once you've determined what needs to be shared and shown, order that information into steps. For this example, my goal is to teach a user how to take a scrolling capture with Snagit, and I've outlined the happy path to do that here. Notice how I didn't include any extra steps, such as turning on your computer or opening Snagit. These steps are implied, and leaving them out will help me keep my video focused and short. When you're ready to record the steps, open Camtasia and choose New Recording. For many micro videos, narration is simply not included, so turn off the audio and start your recording. When finished, stop your recording. The video automatically appears in Camtasia. To preview your video, click the play button or press the spacebar. To find mistakes or dead space where nothing's happening, scrub over the timeline by dragging the playhead. If there's a mistake at the beginning or end, remove it by dragging the clip in. This is called trimming. If you trim too much, drag the clip back to restore the video. If you want to remove space in the middle of a clip, drag a handle on the playhead and click Cut to remove the section. It's good to note that you can undo any edits you make. Edit your micro video so that just the key steps of the process are shown. This is to minimize distractions and cater to the viewer's attention span. To add a title slide to your video, select your media and move it to the right to make room at the beginning of your timeline. Go to the Annotations tab and drag a text annotation down to the timeline. Double-click on the annotation to edit the text. Then drag the clip out to reflect how long you want it to play. I recommend 3 to 6 seconds. Finally, it's common to add music to micro videos when they don't have narration. To add music, you can import your own track, or you can use a royalty-free music track from the Camtasia library. Because there's no visual associated with audio clips, you can place it on a track above or below your existing media. Just remember to trim the end of the clip so that the music ends with your video. And add a fade from the audio tools so that your music gradually quiets as your video ends. When you're finished, save the project and decide where you want to produce your video. For this example, I want to save a video file to my computer that I can share to multiple locations later, so I'll choose an MP4 only at 1080p. Give it a name and click Finish. This tutorial walked through the basics of creating your first micro video. To learn how to add effects and animations to your video, check out our other Camtasia tutorials.